It is Monday. Well, Monday. My dudes. We got the day off. Me, Jake, and I did. So we're going to go explore the Croton Hardy Dam. So we're going to go ahead and put on some miles on these babies and uh, go explore. Last time you saw them, this one was in pretty rough shape. It still is. It's 96 XP. They're all in rough shape. But the steering broke, the trim broke, the bumper broke. I got the steering and the trim fixed. Oh, the nozzle broke too. So I got a new nozzle on there. Should be all ready to go. Did a bunch of adjustments in the carburetors. So hopefully it runs better, runs a little faster. We're gonna see. I haven't tested it out yet. I haven't done anything to mine, <laughs> but it was fine last time you saw it. So the water looks absolutely perfect. It's gonna be so smooth out there. It's like a, it's a great day for riding. Oh, yeah, that's warm water. Yeah? That's warm. It's gonna be a good day. It's a little green. I don't know what that's all about. Doesn't matter, we probably won't be in the water too much. But I mean, it is just, there's nobody out here. We're the only ones out here. Just nice and calm with just a tiny little breeze. So we'll stay cool enough when we're not riding. So while we go back these things in the water, hit that subscribe button. We'll be right back. This is, but we're gonna find out. I almost lost my sunglasses. That's that one. I was looking at something. Oh no! <laughs> That'd be your second pair of Oakley sunglasses lost to a lake. I don't know why I wear them this year. <laughs> Looks like Pontoon Party River. Pontoon Lagoon, that's it. Upgraded from pontoon boats to houseboats now. That'd be fun. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, we found this nice little spot here to turn off. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> ah! He's, he wrecked, <laughs> he wrecked me. <laughs> Anyways, we were exploring, we went up this hill here, and we come back down and I'm like, we're like, where's Jake's ski? He was there. It's currently about 30 feet, no, well, about 50 feet now, down the river. And when, uh, she's on the move, just in the middle of the river down there. Luckily it's very slow, slow going river. Well, uh, I'm gonna go get it. But it's currently down here, just in the middle of, uh, in the middle of this lagoon. <laughs> I'm just gonna hop on with him. I do have my key, it's still strapped. I stay strapped. Keep staying strapped, folks. Only sucked up a lot of dirt back there. It, oh gosh, it's fine. He was just gonna ride over and grab it and bring it back, but I figured it'd be easier for me to just hop on and drive it away. You're gonna be in a tree in a minute. Yeah, it's a good thing we caught it when we did. It's just exploring on its own, you know? Right. Sometimes you gotta do that. I'll take the camera. You get ready to grab it. You gonna hop on? <laughs> Ew, now we're heading towards the yuck. I'm out. Nasty. Perfect execution by both parties. Oh. 
All right, so my jet ski is back, safe, ready to go. She, uh, uh, I can hold the camera. Yeah, we're we're back on land again. Oh Thanks yeah. Thanks to this guy, he helped me out. No problem, anytime, buddy. Could have been a interesting situation, but it's fine now. We got her figured out. We're only about five feet from the tree, so we still had about four or five feet to, you know, get some wiggle room. We are actually going to head north again because we're probably, how far north do you think we are a couple miles probably probably a couple miles yeah not nothing too crazy but yeah we're heading north still yep there's only i want to say less than a mile left to get to the other dam and once we get there we will have gone from the south dam to the north dam right damn right so yeah we're gonna head north and then we're gonna head back south We have made it to the 131 and Muskegon River Bridge. You got 131 going south right there, 131 going north right here. This is like a pretty cool to see this bridge from underneath. It's just like a big slab of cement, basically. This is the same bridge we drive over every time we go north of like my house. <laughs> we drive over this, and I look down and see the river, and I think I want to go jet skiing on that river. And here we are. Also, I think we have a love for bridges when we're on Cedars because we like to drive underneath. I got sneak. <laughs> Did you hear that echo? That was incredible. Nice. So, anyhow, should we continue on to the dam? Let's keep going to the dam. Let's hit it. It's getting real shallow over here. I'm gonna cut off this way a little bit. There we go, it's a little deeper over here. I don't know how far we can go, but we're gonna see. Man, there are some big boulders in here. We might, we might kiss one, we'll find out. Hopefully not, but you never know. Whoa, big, big one right there. This may be it. Oh boy. Whoa. He's, oh, we're, we're gonna touch that one. Oh. Oh, we missed it, just barely. We're floating on top of the rest of these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut across that way to Jake. Wow. This is so shallow and rocky. Oh, there's a cable telling us to stop. Luckily, it's further up there. Energy station up there. I guess a transfer, transformer station. I don't know what they are. Chris might know, he probably does. But he's not here, unfortunately, so. This is basically as far as we can go. No trespassing. 
Got this little cable here and a big cement slab. We can go on top of the cement slab though. Whoa. Look at that, right next to the no trespassing line. That's pretty cool. Some fish running around, another big rock. More fish up there. And back off the cement slab. Pretty cool. This is honestly really cool. Usually we only make it to that little split off there. We just gonna turn around and go back. The one down there. That's usually when my dad and I go, but we've never actually gone up and like stood on this big slab. We are standing on the slab, yes, but I don't think it's illegal because we are not beyond the rope. We are behind this rope here, so we're safe, not in there, no trespassing zone. That's correct. Loopholes. <laughs> Loopholes. <laughs> that was pretty cool though. Uh, it's a great ride up here from where we put in. It's been such a good day out. Yeah, I couldn't ask for a better day. No. Nice and sunny. Yeah, no, not really any wind, just a little breeze. So Hardly anybody out here too. Yeah, we only passed a few people. Saw a really cute dog. Jake didn't even get to see him though. I pet him, very cute, little Pomeranian. Not Shout out to here. that guy. Don't know if he's, he's probably not gonna see this video, but very cute dog, very fluffy. on that one my gosh this man he's he's got it going on i don't know where he's going but he's going in fact he's still going he hasn't stopped going i don't know where he's he's just he's just out there for a rip just absolutely cruising whoa <laughs> my goodness he made it it's okay he made it that was, that was fast. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Dude, this is hilarious. What in the world? I have never once seen a guy ride like this before in my life. But he's, he's doing it. <laughs> There's one that's got the water. <laughs> that was, that was a heck of a rip there, buddy. Oh, look. Oh, flotation device. I got flotation. Just like Chris. All right, I'm gonna go for a dip. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to stop and pick up some more oil because I didn't fill myself all the way up because I got a bad oil leak, so I don't want to waste all a bunch. But yeah, long story short, I got to get more oil and we're going to get some gas because we're almost out of that too. And we'll probably maybe start making our way back. So this is where we can get some gas, we can get some ice cream, we can get pizza. They got some other food here. I did so get yeah, pizza. It's like a big old convenience store. You can just get whatever you want. Um, we're going we're gonna to use the thing and fill up some gas. Holy spider, dude, you just... Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that thing. Ooh. Oh, he's gone. Now he's, he's down there. He's fast. He's a quick guy, no doubt about it. All right, just fueled up. Oop. Bump, 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 bump. Just fueled up, make sure that's closed. We are gonna make our way back to the boat launch. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna grab some real oil, not this crappy stuff, because I'm pretty sure after six bottles of like three ounces, Oh, no, the oil light turned off, we're good. What in the world? Oh, that man's going down. <laughs> That's great. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no! My cattle's here to drive it off! Oh jeez. 
Oh, that sucks. Good grief. Oh my goodness. What did you do? Oh, oh no! It floats! <laughs> Some people say this thing's unsturdy. I don't know what they're talking about. Look at that. You could do yoga on that. Oh, it's getting way <laughs> Regardless, cannonball. That was a good one. Made a nice splash. <laughs> what is he doing? I come around the corner and this guy is just trying to ramp a log. And he's not doing very good at it. <laughs> not much. Think I can do it? it? It's maybe a quarter inch below the surface. I think you might be able to do it. It's a slippery log and there's deep stuff on both sides. It'll be all right. Nah, okay. Just do it. Oh jeez. He's not gonna make it. <laughs> That was a good attempt. Nice. I, I heard your intake grate come out of the water. <laughs> a little bit of. What in the world are you doing? I'm checking things out. Buddy, give her a shot. I did it. Now you used to do it. No, I didn't agree to that. No, I did. <laughs> That was his mindset going into this. If I do it, he should do it. Yeah. But I'm not going to tell him he should do it, right? Yeah. And then I shook on it. Shook on it with himself. Correct. And then <laughs> now he's not going to hold his end of the bargain. No, I'm, I'm not going to hold up my end of the bargain. I've got too, too small of arms. I'm not swole. Not swole enough to hold up my end of the bargain. GoPro. Make a better camera for crying out loud. They're all garbage. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> honestly, today, well, obviously, we're out of the water now. Didn't film any of that. It's a whole process. It's but fine. today was probably the best day I've ever had jet skiing. I might. Had to have been one of the best. Yeah. At least for river riding. Oh. Yeah, the backwaters is fun. Going down the Grand River is fun. But this is. It's fun. Yeah, you know, fun, fun. I guess jet skiing, there's so many different things. There's like river riding, there's lake riding, and then there's big wave jumping. But this was definitely the best river riding day we've had. Absolutely. It was, we were out here for like five hours, we, just messing around. We got out here at about noon. It's 5.30 right now. More than five hours, yeah. So it's been almost six. Yeah. But we had a blast. We burned through about a tank and a half of gas. I burned through a lot of oil. A lot of oil. Um, we burned through a bunch of GoPro batteries, so that's cool. Hope, Hope you guys enjoyed what we captured. Yeah. I don't know if any of it's going to be usable. We got a lot of on inside. and off camera. We did some yeah. some fun <laughs> yeah. stuff. We are messing around a lot. But honestly, it was a great day. Yeah. Perfect day. Sunny out. I mean, couldn't ask for anything better. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us. We're going to go get some dinner. Yes. You guys should like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.